Hey there, I was asked to show you how I created the circuit for my Reveal Reel light up card. Um, so welcome to my very first video um, and my very first tutorial. I cut a wheel from thick acetate from normal cutstock and I've cut that small circle uh, from cardstock. I cut the the card base um, and I used the, the windshield add-on and I also cut the base out of thick paper. I don't have any board so I cut it four times and I will glue them together to build the the base for my um, circuit and the battery holder. Those four pieces have the same height if I glue them together as my battery will have. So I use those um, thinner batteries. So so the battery has the same height as those four layers of paper. I cut the inner part of the, the cardstock wheel. I used a, a circle die to get rid of the inner part. So I cut it uh, at this line, that indented line, to just have that scalloped frame. And that I will put on my on my acetate wheel to have a um, a neat finished. I'll put that aside to dry and work on the um, on the base and the battery holder. Um, I did not invent the battery holder thing. I link uh, to to the person. I've learned about the battery holder. She did some uh, great video tutorials on that as well. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce her name, so I just uh, will write the name for you. The battery and place it where I want it to be, finally. And then I take a pen or pencil and roughly trace around it to get an idea uh, how big the holder should be. And then I will go ahead and cut it. So now I have my first battery holder. And I take a circle die that has um, the same size as the battery and die cut uh, the hole for the battery. I used a sanding block to smooth out the edges of the, the battery holder to, um, to make it work smoothly. And you can see the um, battery is a perfect fit and we have um, created the battery holder. So now I will work on the, um, on the circuit. So how I did that, I, I aligned the, um, the card front with the base and traced the, the opening, the windshield. I'll go ahead and put my car onto the front and trace the headlamps or the headlights. Um, I'll then go ahead and cut those using my copper oil. Now I know where the my my lights will be and 
um, you see through the template that the lights are in between the, the window openings. That means I will have images here, here and here on the wheel and the lamps are in between. So the lamps will be in a spot where it's just the clear acetate um, but there won't be any in images. So if you use the, um, the other template you can see that um, the, the, the lights will might be blocked uh, by an image. So this is why I used that one. And I'll go ahead and also trace the lamps. And um, then I will go ahead and align the template with the the, the windshield I traced to mark the other openings. So my my um, LEDs will be here and here behind the lamps. Draw a line connecting the tops and go down to meet the middle of the battery holder and I will trace the line connecting to two bases. Go through the middle of that windshield Go down and hit the middle of the battery. So this is how I will have to create my my circuit um, to be able to. Um, to have the battery connected with my, my circuit but still um, be able to, to remove the holder I, I will need to um, put some additional paper on top so I will cut a piece of copy paper so I will do that piece of, um, of copy paper um, next to my battery holder. So now I will be able to feed my or glue my copper uh, tape um, around the paper to have get contact to my battery. So, and for um, this um, part of the circuit, I'll um, put the, the copper tape until they, the slot. And cut off the release paper and leave some of the tape to finally put it on the, the base of the card. So this will go underneath my battery holder 
and that will be on top. You can see the, the, the lamps are behind, uh, the, the, the lights are behind the lamps. And now I can glue them on and see if it, if it works. So the, the circuit is working. And the next step will be to disconnect the circuit. Then I will um, get out my, my fabric tape. On where my battery is and I will also put one um, on top of the base so that both, part, both sides of the battery will have better contact to my circuit. So um, now my, my circuit is not working anymore because I disconnected it. So if I take um, an additional piece and reconnect it, it will work. But not as long as um, this part is missing. And we will use the reveal wheel to reconnect it. So the first thing um, we're going to do is to build the wheel. I will trace the, um, the windshield openings on the acetate. and put it in the right spot. So after that I open the bread and remove my acetate piece and I take another of those foam squares and put it with the release paper down so it's it's sticky on the um, on the side facing up. So this is a little um, tricky to to get it um, in the right position and stop gluing to your finger. I use my tweezers to put it in the in the spot uh, where the disconnection is. Then I take my wheel And try to feed it through the bread, using putting it in the right position, and then I push it, uh, push it down. So it will pick up the um, foam square. The, the foam squares will not connect um, or reconnect the circuit. So I will take my my conductive, my fabric conductive tape, and I will cut a piece that is about the same height as the um, home square. So I will, I'll need three of those, and I'll cut a third. Of it and then I will make a, a loop. So I will remove the release paper of the foam square and 
and also the release paper of the um, fabric tape. And now I will create the loop. So the sticky side is facing up, so it will be outside. So I'm pressing it on the foam square and create a loop. So I will roll it and press it down. So now it's sticky, but I do have kind of a roll and um, then I'll take the, the other piece, remove the release paper and I'll um, I will put it onto the roll I've created. So the sticky side, so sticky side, two sticky sides. So now it's not sticky anymore, but I still have that that roll. So it is flexible. And it will help to, to keep contact to, to the surface, to the, the card base. So I will repeat that for the other two. So now I have um, three of those rolls. And I can put my my wheel back in position and bring back the battery holder. Um, and let's try if it's wor if it's working. It is. So as soon as the foam square with the conductive tape reaches the disconnected part, it will reconnect it and the circuit is working. So I will put that on the card base. So then I remove the can cut it to the right length. Um, glue the copper ca uh, ca tape down. Use another piece of fabric tape. Remove the, the release paper. and shut my window. Go ahead and use um, some foam tape. So um, you might uh, want to use enough foam squares or enough foam tape uh, to, to ensure um, the contact to the battery. So then you can put your your images um, on top. You can um, decorate your card as uh, however you like, and uh, you can um, illuminate the headlights depending on the position of the wheel. 
So I hope you liked the uh, tutorial and that it was helpful to you. Let me know in the comments please um, if that was the case um, or what I could do better next time. Thank you, bye!